But that, that solid hole definition is now perfect for the process hole toolpath. So again, process hole is just this automatic brand new toolpath in 2024 that goes through and takes that definition and says, I know how we drill those. So like this one, this is a 0.157 hole uh, in aluminum. How do we like to drill that hole? Well, we like to spot it and then peck drill it at a specific depth. And so it found that parameter based on that hole size. It created two tool paths. It created the spot drill and the, uh, the peck drill operation, and it just goes through and created them. Now, I don't have to set my retract. I don't have to set my feeds and speeds or anything like that. All that's been pulled from that operations file. So if you say, okay, well, every time we machine this, let's use these parameters to keep from breaking the drill. But if it's bigger, we'll use, you know, deeper peck uh, cycles, right? Put that into that operations manager and it just saves you all that time. It brought in some tools. Uh, this has a three quarter inch spot drill that it pulled in for the uh, spot operation. I'm just gonna change the tool numbers a little bit, kind of get a little organized. And I'm expecting to use that again because we spot all of our drill holes and we've got another set of holes we need to do next. So here's this multi-axis holes. These all came in as individual holes because they're all in different planes. So we're gonna grab the process hole command and before, when I grabbed it, I grabbed all of the holes of the same feature. Now, because they're separate features, I can't just grab one, right, and then have it all grab the rest. So these, these are just quarter-inch holes. Just go have to go through and grab each feature because of that, that uh, nature of, of them being in different axes. But this does show you that if you had quarter-inch holes kind of in various different places on the part, You'd be able to add them all in one operation very quick and easy. For the operation library, uh, just make sure that the operation library you have has that hole in it. It's basically this massive board with a hole or a plate with a hole in it where everything's defined. So there's my two operations, just like before, but you can edit those just like any normal toolpath. And in this case, it says, hey, there's a three-quarter inch spot drill already, but this one has another spot drill. Do you need two of them? You say, no, I don't need two. Use the one I already have, and any other parameters I want to change for this particular application, I can't. For this one, it already uh, designated or indicated that it's a five-axis uh, post, so it's going to create it as a five-axis toolpath, uh, but I could you know, modify that if I need to. It did a good job, but the, the retracts aren't the smoothest, so we're going to go in here and add a safety zone. So with this safety zone, we'll just say that we want it to retract out past the safety zone, and we'll use a spherical one, which should do a really good job with this 5-axis. And now all the retracts kind of go out to that distance, which I know is a safe distance, uh, kind of a spherical wrap around the part. All right, let's, let's backplot these and see where we're at. So just like before, we start with the, peck, or the, the spot drill, then we do the peck. But normally what I'll do is I'll spot all the holes, then drill them. And if you look here, it switches back to the spot and then switches back to another drill. That's an extra tool change I really don't need. So let's go and take a look at what we can do about that. The process hole has sort of in, inside it two other toolpaths, and so you can't reorder them unless you explode them. So explode process hole just takes those and says, okay, now that I'm I'm you know created the way I like it, break them out into individual toolpaths so I can sort by the the uh, tool number, and now it gives me my both of my spot drills. Then it goes through and drills everything just the way I like it. So a nice way to quickly and easily define the exact type of uh, uh, process that you do for that type of hole and then just utilize it every time you encounter that same hole.